The first part of this short video is to tell you about IFEMA. It's the most important agribusiness organization in the world, created in the 90s by Ray Goldberg and some other important professors in agribusiness. And this association has a meeting every year in one particular city, moving all around the world, where the most important issues are discussed, where we have a very nice case study competition with teams from several universities uh, in our world. We also have a symposium where the most relevant research is presented uh, in terms of uh, short uh, papers. And this is all summarized in a four-day event. I had a chance to participate uh, in IFEMA since 1994, uh, although the conference started in 1991. So I invite you to make part of IFEMA. Here's the link to the website. You should become a member, receive information about uh, agribusiness. The issue now is how to create talents, how to have competitive human resources that will build up margins, build up value for the organizations that they are acting. So how can we become more competitive? So in just four minutes, I selected 10 words that I think it's important for people to get better, to be prepared in order to, uh, let's say, create more value, create more margins in their work. This is a research that I did together with uh, Roberto Faviscari, and uh, I ask you to kindly watch the video and see which are these very important 10 selected words or let's say 10 selected behaviors. This video was recorded during my presentation in a very nice panel during IFEMA in Almeria, Spain, where we had a chance to discuss the future of education. So first of all, they must be results driven. They must deliver margins for the industry that they are working as a, as a person. The second one, they should have a broad view we don't want students in this polarized world just having one view. He has to understand the ones that think differently and why does he think differently and which points can we agree. Because society nowadays, it's or either on this side or at that side and we don't see bridges being built. So we need bridges and we need to understand both. Uh, they should be simple. I think after COVID, we learned that uh, there are other things in life and we don't want complex uh, uh, things. Compl we, we want things to be simple, to deliver the value in a simple way that people can ad adopt it immediately. That's the idea. Always investing, like the students that we had here in IFEMA, they are investing. So we're, we're, we're always paying in order to get better. We're doing a course, we're participating in meetings. So it's not that you're gonna finish and that's done. We, we never finish. We should always be investing in order to create our improvements. They should be very relational also, to know how to work in teams, to know how to share the results with others and not having an individual, uh, individual approach only. So that's the idea, working together. And we see some difficulties nowadays uh, when we talk to uh, to this younger generation in some of these topics that I told you. I'm almost finishing here. They have to be, no to be innovative and to adapt because companies are changing, the environment is changing and the technology is changing. That's what we need to do, although it's difficult to adapt. We know that, but we should in order to stay creating margins and be a valuable resource for the ones that are using us. We should be globally Synchronizing. We should know what's going on in Vietnam. We should know what's going on in Europe, the elections, the, the democracy, uh, the, the hunger, and not only stay in our life, in our circle, in our things that we are, in our day-to-day -day activity. So let's try to be smart, let's try to travel more, to understand people, to build up the networks, you know, to talk to other religions and to understand what's going on. They should have the capacity to communicate, not too much, but to do a good communication when uh, they need to tell about uh, an innovation or when they need to deliver a certain result. They should be social also. We will be remembered in this life 
by the opportunities that we created for other people. Everyone here will remember a person that gave you an opportunity. So this should be in their mindset. I should do something to include people, to create opportunities for the ones that are uh, surrounding my activities or the ones that I even know don't know where they are. And the last but not least, they should be a dreamer because uh, they can uh, make things happen. Uh, we, uh, the group that created this school in Brazil, we were dreaming about this school and it became a reality. It's working now, it's born within the IFEMA context and it's partner of uh, all the universities that are here. So that was the idea when we created it, is to make uh, our young people, our new resources different and just for you to use them. These were the 10 topics that inspired us and are inspiring in our classes in order to make them a difference. But these are the 10 words that I would like to share with you in the first answer. Thank you, Jorge, and sorry for standing up here. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this presentation, I would like to invite you to come to Ribeirão Preto next year, do this investment, it's gonna be in June, so you can see probably one of the most vi vibrant areas in the world, producing several commodities and growing a lot. And I kindly ask you to watch this two minutes video that we've done and we projected during IFEMA uh, presidential banquet for more than 400 people inviting you to come. Welcome to a unique journey through Brazil. A country giant by nature with a heroic and diverse, resilient, and innovative people. From sunny beaches to the grandeur of the Amazon, from the joy of football and carnival to the seriousness of major economic centers like Sao Paulo, Brazil is not just a breathtaking tourist destination. It's a force to be recognized in the world of agribusiness, feeding 900 million people per year with only 7% of its territory. In the last 20 years, our grain harvest has increased by 250%, propelling the country to the top of the global exporters list. With over 6.5 million rural properties and a cultivated area of 76.5 million hectares, Brazil has mastered the art of producing more with less land, preserving 600 million hectares of lush nature. Brazil is a leader in sustainable agricultural practices, adopting advanced technologies and farming methods that protect and preserve the environment. Our diverse crops, from coffee to soybeans, from sugarcane to cotton, reflect the rich biodiversity of the country. Technology and digitalization have transformed our fields with smart machines, drones, and monitoring systems that increase efficiency and productivity. But none of this would be possible without the people who make Brazilian agribusiness thrive. Farmers, engineers, scientists, and many other dedicated professionals. And it's because of this that Brazil will finally host one of the world's major agribusiness events, IFAMA 2025. The capital of Brazilian agribusiness is ready to welcome participants from around the world in Ribeirão Preto, Sao Paulo. So, get ready for an experience that goes beyond your expectations. Harvin Agribusiness School, Brazil's leading agricultural leadership school, and FB Group, the largest agribusiness event organizer, have joined forces with the International Food and Agribusiness Management Association, IFAMA, to deliver an unforgettable edition. Now I invite you to see some nice pictures of the most important part of the world. It's people, my friends. So take a look. And if you come to IFEMA next year, it's going to be in Brazil. Yes, in Brazilian agribusiness capital, Ribeirão Preto. And you're going to have a chance to see all these people that became very close friends in the chance that I have to participate 30 years in this conference.